starts like this, verse 1. If I speak in tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. Here the Bible is saying, if you go around jabbering about something without love, you are just an annoying, loud noise. In verse 2, I, if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have the faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. This verse is saying if you are very smart and all-knowing, even having the faith that can move a mountain but you don't have love, you are nothing. In verse 3, if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, that I, may, that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. This passage is saying, if you're generous with money and good deeds so you can brag about it, you gain nothing because there is no love. In verse 4 through 8, the passage tells us what love is. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. I have heard this read in another way, where the speaker replaces the word love with the name Jesus. So it goes like this. Jesus is patient. Jesus is kind. Jesus does not envy. Jesus does not boast. Jesus is not proud. Jesus does not dishonor others. And so on. This got me thinking about Rick and Deb. And what if I changed the words again? Deb and Rick are patient. Deb and Rick are kind. Deb and Rick, they do not envy. They do not boast. They are not proud. They do not dishonor others. They are not self-seeking. They are not easily angered. They keep no records of wrong. They do not delight in evil, but always rejoice with the truth. They always protect, always trust, always hope and always persevere. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. What beautiful vows to make to each other, and you can make them anytime you want. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I, Richard, take you, Deborah, to be my wife. I, Richard, take you, Deborah, to be my wife. <laughs> my friend, my faithful partner from this day forward. My friend, my faithful partner from this day forward. In the presence of our family and friends. In the presence of our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. Good times and in bad. In joy as well as sorrow. In joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honor you. To honor you. To respect you. To respect you. Laugh with you and cry with you. <laughs> Laugh with you and cry with you. <laughs> and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. All right. You got through it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but you know what? I, Deborah, take you, Richard. I, Deborah, take you, Richard. To be my husband. To be my husband. My friend, my faithful partner. My friend, my faithful partner. From this day forward. From this day forward. In the presence of our family and friends. In the presence of our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Good times and bad. Good times and bad. In joy as well as sorrow. In joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Honor you. Honor you. Respect
respect you. Respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you for as long as we see <coughs> both show up. And to cherish you as long as we both show up. Which side? <laughs> and now the rings. Richard, I, Richard, give you, Deborah, this ring. Give you, Deborah, this ring. As an eternal symbol. As an eternal symbol. Of my love and commitment to you. As, of as my, my love and commitment to you. <laughs> okay. Put it on. I, Deborah, give you Richard this ring. I, Deborah, give you Richard this ring. As an eternal symbol of my love. As an eternal symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. And now Debbie and Greg will light their unit. Candle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It's my son. Uh, 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 more power. <laughs> Kim the cool man Taylor. He's <laughs> never done that before. Yeah. Like the other yeah. A little welding job here. Oh, 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 oh.